a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the Edo State chapter of the Labour Party faces self-destruction as crisis rocking the party has increased. But guys, before we commence fully, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back-to-back -back updates and information as it is hot. And if this is your first time of watching this wonderful channel, you can please subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the channel that this news happening on social media. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us on this news. So guys, let's proceed. The Edo State chapter of the Labour Party faces self-destruction as crisis rocking the party faster these are not the best of time for the do chapter of the labor party as personal interest seems to be conflicting with the internal interest of the party members and this has badly affected the momentum the party gained in the state through the obedient movement in the build-up to the 2023 election so it was so good for labor party in 23 in that state that it was able for them to win the do central senatorial seats which Nedi Imaso imagined as the winner. Not only that, though, the party also won two House of Representatives seats with Eso Sayawe and Osaru Diomori, representing Oredo and Ego. Bubaoka Federal Constituency. While the feast may have been unexpected at the beginning of 23, the obedient movement, which appealed to the youth worker, won that for the party in the state. Most of the Labour Party candidates did not have to, you know, campaign much. They didn't even spend much on the election. As the masses, especially the youth, who fell left out by the more established political parties, the People Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress, pitched their tents with the Labour Party. So, expecting to build on the gains of 2023, the Labour Party seems to be pressing the self destruction button, with one issue after another dragging the party backward in an election year in the state. Though there have been discordant soon within the party, the trouble became full blown in the run up to the primary election. So there was an agitation by some members of the party to have a candidate from Edo Central in line with the need to give Eastern people the opportunity to taste power after the unceremonious exit of Prof. Osaheme Osubo, who was sacked by the court in 2018 after spending 18 months in the saddle to give way for Comrade Adam Soshomole. However, the party ticket was eventually won by a former president of the Nigeria Bar Association, Olumide Akwata, from Edo South a new entrant who just made a foray into the monkey water of politics. So her battle nomination may not have gone down well with some party member, but having won the ticket, the members were expected to rally behind him. Instead, he was given a full dose of political quarrels as almost every issue that went wrong in the party was ascribed to him. He had to come out with a statement to warn people, peddling those unpleasant tales about him to desist, promise to take such matter to the courts. Also, a seasoned campaigner, Kenneth Emasubo, who lost the party's ticket to Apata, is still in court to contest the result of the primary election. While the Lamidia Papa led faction of the party was also on hand to rock the boat and compound the problem by producing another candidate. <laughs> so the faction resolve seems to have fizzled out. As if this problem were not enough, the youth leader of the party in the state, Kenneth Imusi, with other youth, took over the party secretariat at Ubelaka on May 9th, announcing the dissolution of the state party school. So it was a surprise move by the youth leader who was arrested alongside the national chairman of the party, Julius Aburi, and the state chairman, Kelly Oboloi, by the Nigeria Police Zone 5 on February 21st over a petition in a case of attempted murder and conspiracy to commit dangerous harm. He mostly told the punch that the state escorts was not interested in building a party, hence they need to dissolve it and chart a new course for the party. But it not be a small matter. Kenny Musi went on to say that he's not the acting chairman of the Labour Party in the state and the ESCO has been dissolved. <laughs> the former ESCO is not interested in building a party. So the party is supposed to be for the masses. But it is obvious that money bags have hijacked the party. Kenny Musi said that a certain aspirant spent thousands of dollars during the primary election. That this is not the Labour Party of their dream. So the ESCO has to be dissolved that they have a three-man committee from the state to the world level that we conduct free and fair congresses. And they are only waiting for ratification by the national body to announce the date for the new congress. Ken has since gone under claiming that some people in the party were after his life because of his stance to move it in a better direction. Kelly Yobo, however, said that he remained the substantive chairman as well. 
party of the party and that the state aid could remain. He stated that the grievances of the youth leader and his group would be looked into and resolved to bring unity back to the Labour Party. So he said that the youth leader cannot take over as the chairman, that him himself, Kelly Oboloi, will remain the substantive chairman of the Labour Party in Edo State and the State Executive Council remain intact. So it has not been dissolved. <laughs> he said the legal competency to dissolve a state ESCO lies in the National Working Committee of the party because this is a critical time in electionary process and that is why he said that they will find a solution and not to pursue issues that can disintegrate the party because this is an important time for them as a party and they must unite ahead of the election. But my people, the mess took a new dimension as the relationship between former Ali, Kelly Oboloi and Julius Abure becomes strained. There was news that the national chairman of the party was bent on dissolving the state ESCO despite a gentlemanly agreement at the re-election of the Abure as national chairman in Anambra State on March 27, 2024. That Kelly Obolai and his team should be allowed to stay till after the election. So in attempt to outsmart Julius Abure, the state ESCO ratified the suspension of the national chairman by his war three in Aru Uromi in Eastern North, Eastern local government area of Edo State for alleged high-handedness and anti-party activities. There was a letter of suspension dated May 14, 2024 and another letter of ratification dated May 15, 2024. That was ratified at a meeting of the State Executive Committee on May 25th in Benin City stated that the suspension is with immediate effect and they have advised Julius Abure to restrain from holding out or parading himself as a member of Labour Party. <laughs> but the national leadership of the party rejected Abure's suspension and he went ahead to dissolve the Kelly Lady School on May 27. On the same hand, the National Working Committee constituted a 17-man caretaker committee to oversee the running of the party in the state. But Kelly Obolo told Punch that the process was not followed in the dissolution of the state school, alleging that the suspended national chairman of the party, Julius Abure, was behind the crisis rocking the party in the Edo state. Kelly Obolo said that he was not aware that there had been a change in the leadership of the party in the state. Noting that his ESCO remained committed to working with the party candidate Olumida Bata to emerge victorious at the September 21st poll. The most important thing is that they have a candidate. They should back the candidate up. All this crisis will not help. Rather, it will take a lot of people out of the Labour Party. That is the truth. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your way next.